Hey everybody, this is Arathas, and welcome back to RimWorld 40k Season 4. So, just to give you guys a quick recap as to what I've done since the last episode, well, one of the biggest things you can see is I got rid of all the mountains. It's about time, but it happened. Also, we went ahead and have confined all our animals down here, and we're working on building an Aegis wall so I can get some cover to try to murder these, um... Mechanoids, once I go after this poison ship. Uh, let's see. Anything? Oh, yeah, I got my two crew. And I've installed a few new mods. Now, one of the mods I've installed is a cleaning station mod that cleans everything around it in a radius of 5 to 10 squares. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but I got the mod. And also got a mod that cleans everything outdoors every time it rains because I was getting sick of my dudes spending a god-awful amount of time out here trying to clean, like, just normal ground. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Oh, yeah, I got a bagged lunch mod, too, because that, um... The debuff for people not being able to eat at a table is ridiculous. Sorry, it is. Uh, especially the fact that the way it actually works, the way it's programmed to work, is if you're not within 20... If one of your colonists is not within 25 spaces of a table when they get hungry... They just assume there's no table and eat where they're at. And then they get the debuff. So that's a problem. It really is. <laughs> so I got a packed lunch. Uh, it's called the bag lunch mod. And basically it just keeps it so they'll, if they'll just carry food with them and eat wherever they're at. I think they can do that three or four times before they start getting the mood debuff for not eating at a table. Either way. Uh, also set up these are my bunkers here i got a regenerator nano hive i've got three flamethrower turrets to keep stuff from getting too close to the railgun turret because well the railgun turret has a minimum range but it doesn't have a maximum range so if you guys are wondering why it's built that far outside the walls that's the reason i'm hoping it can provide support to other like along the full length of the wall and currently my crew are trapped right here because they were not building the bloody Aegis Wall. So now they are. <laughs> like, they, this is a zone I've created called Immediate Work. Meaning they are trapped there. They can't go anywhere until this work gets done. A lot of times, that's the only way I have found to get certain jobs done when you have a lot. Like, if you have a job that needs to be done now, this is the easiest way to do it. In my experience, I should say. As soon as they wake up, Okay, screw it. Wake up. I'm no longer cool with you just waiting for you guys to get around to it. Excellent. Now, we're going to unrestrict them so they can go anywhere. And now, I'm going to draft everybody. All Everybody has a gun of some kind. And... God. Okay. I want to see this thing in action. I've never seen, like, I could be wrong. It might have a maximum range, but I don't see the other edge of the boundary, so I don't think it does. I think it can hit everywhere on this map. All right, let's find out. Oh. Okay. Uh, Railgun, let us focus on the biggest dudes, please. I expect you to do the same. Where exactly do you two think you're going? Nice. Oh, this is a bad move for you. Maybe not. Okay, I need melee weapons. I know. Cue the jokes about Tau and melee. Oh, 
Oh, just put the son of a... Holy crap. Uh, except for you. I want you to rescue Andisimus. How you doing, Andisimus? Nose is shattered. Okay. Oh, there's still a Scyther. Actually. Oh, yeah. Stick your head out. Ah, crap. Nobody can see him. Oh, you guys got him. Oh. Fire! <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Um I wasn't expecting it to be quite this nasty, but it it was. Okay, I'm going to leave this up in case we get any raids from this side in the short term. But holy crap, that was rough. I really need more defenses. This is not sufficient. Like, this should not have happened. Oh, animal starvation. Crap, uh, animals. You can go back to normal animal allowed areas, please. Now they can go eat. Whoops. <laughs> All right. This side is almost done. Cool. Who's starving? Trojan, go eat, buddy. Good God, this was horrible. <laughs> but we stopped it in its tracks, and that's what's important. So, yeah, when it rains, all this debris and, well, if there were blood, uh, would just get washed away. Uh, this won't because it's indoors. Bulk goods trader from the Bicroy of the Tree. Well, uh, unless you have... I don't think I need anything from you. You guys riding camels? Yeah, you are. Interesting. All right. Huh. Yeah. It's a massive undertaking we've just ordered on ourselves. So what I'm going to do is so my people will actually focus on a section at a time. I'm actually going to remove the wall orders outside of uh, the current wall over here. Get it, Get one done at a time and go from there. And then I'll build the bunker up here if I can afford to build another um, Psychite binge. Where the... Where did you get Psychite? Who gave Bear Psychite? Not cool, dudes. Not cool. What the... F A Tetra Slug? Oh, okay. Whatever. All right. So, this is where the bunker's going to go. I should probably try to remember how my bunker's actually built. All right, so you... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a bit wonky, wasn't it? Hmm. Okay, so it's going to have to be built. Eek. A bit below the front line and recessed in a bit. Okay. So, like here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it would help. Alright, orders. 
deconstruct. You guys can take out the Aegis wall now. And we'll try to move these into the main wall shortly. I don't know if I have a lot of high grade ceramite, but so let's see, it goes out from this six spaces. Okay. Crap, I don't even have, ah, son of a. Does it go down, how far down does it go from here? Seven, counting the main vault wall. It's gonna go up from there, actually. So that should accommodate shooting down that wall. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I need a nano hive regenerator on the other side of the vault wall, was it? Yes. Okay, give me a vault wall. Then I can put a door here. And then the main vault wall. Did I do that right? Yep, it's a straight line from there. Cool, 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 cool. So I did it, all right, cool. Uh, let's see, from here it is nine over. And then I just finish this. And the vault wall is where it goes all the way down. All right. Railgun turret. There was a spot where it doesn't... Huh. I think I went too far out because this is dead center. Nine. Yeah, I went too far out. <coughs> so I need to cancel it right here. Then we can put in the, where'd it go? There it is. Put you here. Uh, put the regen on oh, regenerate nano hives already there. Put the sift shield one on either side. Where's my flamethrower turrets? There they are. Put you guys in the corners. Zone. Yep, that looks good. All right, now I need to do a zone. I need to put a roof on that. Okay. I think they're working on finishing this chunk of the wall before they fix that up there. Also, let me remove some of these plans down here. They're done. I don't need them again. I don't need them anymore. Just like I don't need the one going up from here. Yeah, this works. Power conduit goes straight up like this. All right, let's see it. Yeah, these uh, vault walls take forever to build. I know that's what's slowing me down right now. 
But yes, I'm very impressed with the um, rail gun. Those should provide very nice long range firepower. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna need to start building. See, my biggest problem with these is not having room to put like my missile launcher and gauze cannon turrets. I need to fix that. So these will have to be, unfortunately, these will have to be moved. I didn't want to, but it looks like I'm going to have to. So I think this size building is what I'm good with. And these will probably be the size of my new... Yeah, to give a little bit of space between this and the wall, I think this might be where I build my right around here, my hydroponics buildings. And these will probably be my new hydroponics buildings once I build new storage buildings for them. Let's see, starting here. Let's move all the way out to here for my construction buildings. I actually don't remember how big that building was. 19, okay. So here, that's where the door goes. And once I have the first one in place, it gets real easy. Uh, doors, structures, come on. Let's go with a I don't know I can use steel, but we'll try. Steel auto door. Yeah. How far down? Seven? Cool. I'll probably make it bigger, actually. Maybe we'll go the same size around as it is tall. Because I would like a full crafting quarter, you know what I mean? And I am pretty sure I'm going to need a centerpiece here. Like a pillar? Yeah. And I will just shove this right down there in the center. Yeah, this could be a full-size crafting room. Ah, oh, crap. You're not going to let... Yeah, yeah, I can still build there. Cool. All right, get this built. Because then I can, I can take all this and put it in here. I'll sort power to it in a minute. For now, I just kind of want it built. What block do I have the most of? Limestone. Okay. Limestone. We'll do the whole tie. We'll do this whole area in limestone. It's fine. And then that'll let us destroy these buildings. Well, these two. I can convert this into a hydroponics. And then do a bunch of hydroponics buildings over here. And then I'll shift my living quarters over here. So the plan is in place. You guys are picking some weird priorities, and I do not like it. Well, you know what? I know how to fix this. <laughs> Restrict. Now you'll finish this work, huh? I'm gonna leave a gap though. I said I'm gonna leave a gap. What the? Cool.
Oh, here comes the rest of you. Now come do this. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Yeah, like that. I should put a vault door somewhere. Okay. Uh, restrict. You guys can go back in now. And honestly, I don't need an opening over here if people will build this and do the smart thing and stay inside. They're not going to do the smart thing. I can almost guarantee it. Like, I'm almost positive one of these dumb bastards is going to build and stay outside. Thankfully, they can, right now, they can go the long way around. But I'm still expecting it. Oh, hey, that's almost done. Good. Hey guys, I've been waiting forever for you guys to actually give me some security on this side, so how, how about you guys do that? You guys have the skills. You get back there and continue applying these skills. Before I decide I really don't need Crute. It's quite simple, really. Because <laughs> I think all these places down here have all the supplies they need to be built. And it's driving me nuts that my people are not. That they're just getting distracted with, well, what, what about this? Your priority is constructing. What do you think I want you to do? Yeah, I want you to build the damn building. Pretty sure I'm not going to have enough high-grade ceramite to finish this. Almost positive. Okay, I only see one of you guys working on this. What, are the, what the hell are the rest of you dudes doing? There we go. This bunker. Oh, wow. I do have the components to finish it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Also, on a side note, after all that mining, taking out all these mountains, I found very little plasteel. I was rather disappointed. All right. So it looks like we are well set up on multiple fronts now. So I think this is a good place to end the episode. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time for some more RimWorld 40k Season 4. And also, for those of you who do watch my streams, I am actually this week streaming uh, at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time every day. So if you guys want to check it out, feel free. Thanks again, guys.